Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Goldbrod once more. Here we are with the third episode of the farming sessions. Um, this one is a little bit different from the others. I just changed the format a little bit just because... I don't know, I felt that the other one was a little bit boring and long and uh, I was not speaking that much. I was just playing the video with some music. And that's it, so I think this is gonna be a little bit funnier, I would say. So yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you can support me and just encourage me to continue along this long journey. So as you can see now, we're farming level 21 at this moment. Just farming some barley and wheat as well, because those are the two cereals we can actually farm at these levels here i'm showing you a little bit of my incoming camas because i sold some resources from the previous videos and uh yep as you can see here we've got a lot of competition these days here you can see the resources i was selling i just got these ones um, from fights from the other episodes um these eggs uh, remember that i told you that i could work with some of these eggs well yeah i pretty much sold all of them i got like um 40 000 camas or something like that so yeah it was really worth it now i also sold um all the resources that i, I didn't use from incarnam which uh i found it was a really good income if you ask me I'm gonna be uploading some videos for making camas at low levels, so make sure that you stay here with me and well, I'm gonna just chill out here a little bit and talk to you guys a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, not a conversation, but you know, just telling you a couple of details on the video. I really love this one because I felt that, uh, I mean, I made a huge progression, as you can see here. I was leveling up Lumberjack, but I gotta tell you that I didn't really focus on Lumberjack, nor Alchemist, or Fisherman. This video was mainly focused on Farmer, and especially on Miner. I gotta tell you that I keep playing with no subscription and you can tell this because of the star on the right corner upper right corner and besides as you can see here when I defeat a resource protector I don't drop this bag of 50 resources of whatever you're farming um, yeah here we are at Incarnam again and you would wonder why are you at Incarnam well, the strategy I used here for leveling up Miner, I'm gonna tell you this as an advice, I was um, farming between Incarnam and Astrup because I noticed that there was not a lot of people on the server at this time. I was playing uh, really early in the early morning and uh, yeah, I mean, you didn't really find many people mostly you will find bots which are you know robots they are made to farm resources and gather some others with the professions this is something illegal it's worth to mention but they keep doing it because you know that some people just like illegal stuff so yeah the idea basically was to farm most of the resources in Incarnum gather most of the plants, trees, ores, and stuff. And then when I uh, finish gathering all those resources, I just check on the mines and go back and forth. Here I can show you a little bit of that. Now we are at Astrup. And look at that, man. I found every single piece of iron right here because i didn't really see bots for mining which was really good it really helped me out a lot so yeah 
I could farm a lot of iron, I could tell that. At the end of the video, I'm not showing you that because I didn't really visit the bank, but recording other videos, I saw that I was really, really close to 2,000 iron, which is nuts. So yeah, it's, it's really worth it. If you, instead of being there, sitting down and watching the ores and wait for them to reappear, you need to move. You need to be in constant movement if you really want to grind professions and level them up. As you can see here, I was doing exactly that, just running back and forth. In the beginning of the video, I was mostly taking wheat and barley, but then I realized that I didn't really need to level up farmer that fast, and I focused mainly on miner. As you can see here, well, hold on a second. I need to cry a little bit. Why? Why? No! <laughs> so yeah, that was another bot. And you can easily recognize these ones because nowadays they're using this sacrier as bots. Oh, my God. oh. oh. No. oh. no bots. No bots here. No bots. <laughs> yeah, I was really frustrated because these protectors appear a lot, like super frequently. I took like 20. I, I took down like 20 monsters it was nuts man and it would be fine if i was really gathering the resources but I, I was really grinding experience i didn't really need the resources because um i've always think that it's better if you level up the gathering professions oh my god man again no <laughs> a lot of competition so i was saying before it's better if you just you know, grind the professions, grind experience, sorry, just by um, collecting the resources themselves. It's the best way to go. And I will tell you that later. Not now. Oh no. my god! Wow! Look at that. <laughs> I really love when I come to Incarnam and I find most of the resources untouched. I mean, I cannot tell you what I feel. It's like, yeah, I man, look at this. Look at that, man. Now we are level 17. One step closer. So now here, my challenge, because it, it is mine, it's not like someone just asked me to do it, was to get to level 20 on minor. I, I was just playing it. I said like, no, dude. You can't stop until you get to 20 because uh, I really wanted to start um, gathering copper, which is um, is the actually is the first reason why I was leveling up to 20. But the second one is to craft the alloys because with that one you can actually get some camas, really good camas. So as you can see here, I was just going back and forth between uh, Inkernam. And then Astro. And that was like the best way to do it. Now, don't get me wrong. If you do this like too quickly, you will not find resources because ores actually take more time to reappear. So in the middle, I did something like gathering some trees and uh, <laughs> more trees and then another tree. And maybe finally another tree. Nope. One more. Yes, sir. And some metals as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you come back to mining. And that's the way to go. That's the key. You can't lose time. And you can't lose time not because you are in a hurry. But because if you just go and mine and mine and mine and mine. As you are grinding experience between Astro and Incarnam. You will be like desperate. And look at this. Wow! Yes, sir. 
We got to minor level 20, baby. Oh my, farmer level 30. Look at this. Oh my god. You can now take copper, baby. Yeah. So yeah, man. This was basically the video. Just farming. Just mining. Like, literally farming and mining. Um... I also want to tell you that I got some camas out of this. I'm going to show you that real quick. But look at this, man. Getting copper already. Yeah. So this is one of the items I sold to get some camas. Here you have the screenshot. The juicy one. And yeah, we got here. That was the video, guys. So if you liked it, you know, remember to subscribe to my channel. To give it a little bit of love, to like the video and share it to your friends. This was Goldbrot, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.